Hey, what up, YouTube fam? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Mars. Feel me coming to you with another live reaction video. Well, and another one. It's my first. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and get this shit popping. You know what I mean? Hopefully the first of many. But, yeah, let's dive into it. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, shit. Mmm, man. Shorty body kind of mean. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, oh, shit. She just picked her whole boy up? Oh, hell no. Oh, nah. Nah, nah. Brother, man, nah. Nah. You just lost so much points on this, bro. Like, there's no way. I get it. She fine. You know, her body's popping all that. But there's no way you should have a chick on... Oh, no, you should be on a chick back having her squat you, bro. That's like the most unmanliest thing ever, bro. Like, you lost so much points in so many girls' books, bro. It's, you're done, bro. You're done. Like, you should just, like, hide away, lock yourself away in a cave or something, bro. Because, like, any girls that's, any girl that see this, bro, like, you're done in your book. Like, there's no coming back from this, bro. Like. There's no coming back from this, literally, like, you know what I mean? There's nothing that can save you, like, <laughs> maybe, maybe you should get on her back. No, maybe she should get on your back and you squat her. Maybe that will save you. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's check out this next video. During their brief five months together, this woman says her boyfriend lavished her with more than a million dollars in gifts. He's been buying me a lot of gifts every time that, you know, he would. I mean, listen. I'm just say this, like, you know, fellas, sometimes you gotta pay to play. All right, I mean, that's not my game, but you know, hey, if that's what y'all into, you know what I mean? That's what you gotta do sometimes, you know? You can't really get mad when, ah, come on, let's just watch it. Let's just watch it. Let's... Want to take me to Chanel or anything, you know, he would spend over $100,000. At a single time? Mm-hmm. Wow. When $20,000 Six-year-old Stephanie Grzanski met 59-year-old Stephen Klubeck. She considered him quite a catch, despite their age difference. Klubeck is worth an estimated $100 million. Whoa. The fortune he made in the timeshare industry. A hundred million dollars? So you know that man got some money, like, and these, some of these girls, they see it. They can see money from a mile away, and you know what I mean? Hey, fellas, don't be surprised, man. You know what I mean? You flaunting it. And she coming for it, you know what I mean? Like, hey, just part of the game, man. You gonna chalk that one up to the game, like. <laughs> I'm Stephen J. Klubeck, chairman and CEO of Diamond Resorts. Nine years ago, he appeared on Undercover Ball. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm Sarah. I hate this game obsessed with me. I'd want to marry me. But their relationship soured. Now the multimillionaire wants all his gifts back. Klubeck said he fell in love with Stephanie, but now he says he feels duped. Little did I know that. While I was working in my various homes, and my children were in the home and my employees, she was shooting porn in the bathrooms and putting it on OnlyFans. Oh. Stephanie confirmed she's a model oh. on the website OnlyFans. She posts provocative photos of herself for paying subscribers. She's also big on Instagram with 1.8 million followers. Okay, so okay. $100 million, you run a multinational corporation. How did this... Okay, come on, man. Come on. You already know. You already know what to set him for. Like, you, you're you like twice her age, bro. Like, you really think she gonna want to marry you? Like, you, like she's like 26. She's so young. Why would she want to marry an older dude? I mean, I get it. You got money, but you know what I mean? At some point, you got to realize, like, look, listen, these women are only after me for my money. Do you think if you were broke that a 26-year-old woman, like, looking this fine would try to talk to you, man? Like, come on, man. Like, I don't get it. Like, you guys, like, have all this money, but, like, you guys lose your common sense. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, she's 25. Well, you know what? My bad. Our security folks did not unlock the pages of OnlyFans. We made a mistake. We saw content that was extremely pornographic, which showed my assets used as backdrops. Assets like his mansion and his jet. But Stephanie claims her boyfriend knew everything about her from the beginning. He used to call his friends and say, hey, Steph's outside taking photos. You know, taking a photo on a horse and everything. And he called up his neighbor to come in and watch. He actually loved it. 
um, it was kind of like a routine. Like every day he would tell me how much he made on stocks and he would ask me how much I made on OnlyFans. He also let me use his private plane to shoot nude content. He loved it. He thought it was hot. Jim, fictitious, fictitious. She's reckless. She's a menace. She's a con. Stephanie's lawyer, Arthur Barron, said by asking for all those gifts back, totaling more than $1 million, Kubek is trying to ruin her financially. He made it clear that... Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> so this dude spent over a million dollars on gifts for this girl. So, bro, you was basically trying to buy her love. You trying to buy her love. And I guess he wanted to lock her down. And she didn't want to be locked down because, again, she's, what, 25. She want to be free. She want to be out here. She want to, you know, hot girl summer, bro. You know what I mean? You in the way. You was the bag. And now you're trying to be in the way. And now you're mad at her because you felt like she owed you some kind of loyalty because you was giving all that money. No, bro. You was paying a play. You know what I mean? You was paying a play. Like, and you... Like I said, chalk it up to the game. Like, what if she come back to you and be like, hey, you know what? I, you know, I want all of that kitty that I gave you back. Like, come on, bro. Like, you you, you rich, man. Like, <laughs> you over here really just making yourself look even more silly by putting this on TV. Like, you should just chalk it up to the game and move on. You was a sugar daddy. That's it. You know what I mean? Get over it. Move on. Like, this, that's it, man. Sometimes breaking up is hard to do. Stephen Kovac says if Stephanie returns the gifts, he'll donate them to charity. Yeah, I mean, exactly. He just salty because Shorty didn't want to be with him no more. Yeah, she took you for a ride, bro. And, you know, I mean, you you should have had a budget. Like, you over here blowing a million dollars. I mean, I get it. You got a hundred million dollars. You probably got more than that. You know what I mean? So you good. So now you want to ruin her life because... She don't want to be with you or she don't want to marry you and settle down with you. I mean, it's crazy. Like, you know what I mean? But, you know, shit, that nigga petty as hell. Like, he got mad money. So I guess he's trying to, you know what I mean? Get her in trouble. Like, make, make her spend her, making her spend her own money on lawyers and shit like that. But, man, that's corny, man. You know what I mean? You pay to pay, brother. You play to, you pay to play. All right? And that's it. Like, you... And you're making it bad for the other old ass sugar daddies out here, you know what I mean? So now these girls are gonna think twice before they mess with them. Nah, matter of fact, nah, these girls don't give a fuck. It's all about the money, you feel me? So, yeah, all right. That's it, boy. Mars, I'm out of here. You know what I mean? Tune in for more reaction videos or more whatever the heck I wanna do. All right? I'm out. <laughs>